Welcome to the Good Times We Share. Today we're going to be sharing with you a typical Italian carbonara recipe. We hope you're going to enjoy this as much as we do. So the first step is you're going to add 180 grams of pork cheek, which is called guanciale in Italian. And just fry it without adding any oil as it produces its own fat as you fry it. So fry this until it is crispy to the bite. Then you're going to just scoop it out of the pan and set it aside and leave that oil for later. Next up, we're going to make our sauce for a portion of two. We're going to do one whole egg and two egg yolks, making sure to separate that egg yolk from the egg white without letting in any of the shells. So do that for the next egg as well. And once that is done, we're just going to then whisk our eggs and mix them up this way. Once that is done, we're going to add in our pecorino cheese, of which if you cannot find pecorino cheese, uh, I would recommend Parmesan cheese as a substitute. Then add in your black pepper to taste. Mix that up as well. This is an optional choice. You can add in a scoop of hot water and mix that up this way. For me, I feel like my sauce is better with that water. After that, we're going to prepare a nice big pot, add salt to taste and boil our pasta until it is just soft enough to the bite until it's al dente. When the pasta is almost cooked, you're going to start warming your pan that you had fried in your pork cheek earlier. Remove some of the oil if you have to and then scoop out all that pasta into the pan. This is so that we can coat the pan with the flavor of the pork cheek that we had fried in earlier. So making sure to mix this up really well. Making sure to also have your stove at low heat. So make sure you mix it all well and then switch off your stove before adding in your sauce and just mix that in as well. At this point, if you want, you can keep your stove on low heat because some people prefer to cook it more. Then you're going to add in your guanciale, which is your pork cheek, and just mix it up in as well. At this point, your pasta is ready. Your pasta is cooked. You can add in some more black pepper if you prefer. My husband does not like black pepper, so I put some on my plate. Hope you enjoy this. Buon appetito a tutti. Until next time, it's bye-bye.